It's fine if I have a criminal history. Uh... Like I said, when I worked fast food there, the, the boss, we got a little problem uh -huh. and uh, I, uh, I killed him. And today, I got a little bit bored while working for Mr. Wellington. So I decided to try something new and get another job on the side, which is why I applied to McDonald's. Okay, thank you. Uh, how you been? Good, how are you? Very good, thank you. Here's your message. What's this one for? Oh, okay. So, why McDonald's? Why you want to work at McDonald's? Well, right now, like I wrote down, I work uh, for my boss, Mr. Wellington. He's the richest man in Arizona. Uh -huh. And he has me come to Texas to watch his son, Bradley the Third. But uh, I have some free time, so I thought, why not get a job on the side? And uh, yesterday I came to eat, I saw the sign that you're hiring, so yeah. why, why not, you know? Why not? You're right. Yeah. So, what you do right now? What is your job? I do private security for Mr. Wellington. Okay, so, you do private security? Yes, whenever he has problems with somebody, basically I, he has me take care of it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, I understand. Yes. In McDonald's, you ever work in the fast food industry? In uh, Russia, I did. You did? For a little bit, yes. Uh, McDonald's, you had to deal with the... Uh, a lot of people, angry people. <laughs> angry Good people? Food. Yeah. That's no problem, I can take you care do. of them. How you do with the, uh, a lot of stress? I don't stress, I'm uh, usually very calm. You like you not? said, angry people. No, 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 like uh, not angry. Like they get upset, you see, when you do not do the coffee correctly or when you well, mess up the burger. Well, that's their problem. Mr. Wellington, he has business partners. Uh -huh. They get upset and then he has me take care of it. Oh, okay. Like last week, uh, we had an employee, Feder, he didn't pay him back his money on time. So um, he's no longer here. Yeah. I, I took care of him. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, company, Arizona State University? Yes, I was a professor. Oh, you're a professor? Yes. What uh, What you teach? Business. Business? Yes. But uh, first day I come in, the dean very rude so i beat the shit out of him and then i got fired that day so what what time do you available to work uh whenever you know i said i watch his son whenever he's sleeping usually i sneak out of the house so okay. i'd be able to come in oh but we're not all uh, we close at 10 p.m so we're not working at night time he usually sleeps during the day so oh, okay, i can okay. make it work around what time you be available in what day well depends uh, when he sleeps when i'll be able to sneak out uh-huh we go uh, typically by schedule, so we make the schedule ahead of time. Like every two weeks we make the schedule. Yeah. So we will need to know dates and times and ahead of time. When do you need me? Uh, <laughs> we need help any time in the day. Um, well, I... if you need help any time, I, I can just come in when I want. Oh no, we, we plan the day, so we know what time the people come in and they leave. Yeah, it just depends on uh, my other job, you know? Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. And that's what McDonald's says. It's like uh, when you have your job and you just want to make extra time and extra hours, that's what we're here for. Right. And um, you, how far you live? Because we have different locations. Far. If they don't need you in one store, they might need you another one. I live in Russia, in uh, Moscow. That's my address. I always want to always wanna visit, visit Russia. Yes, uh, but I come to Los Angeles to visit my daughter. And then I work in Arizona with Mr. Wellington, but then when he has me watch his son here in Texas, that is when I'm here. Okay. So about uh, a few days every month, I'm usually here. Okay. But it's only like five minutes away from me, okay. so no problem. So you, you babysit his son? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you need a babysit for my son. He's 22, a travel maker. <laughs> well, his son is 28. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Mine is 22 and God. Do you want me to? I'm sorry? Do you want me to? Oh, no, I'm just... I can afford nobody. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't make that much money. <laughs> okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk to you. This is your phone number. Where is your phone number? This one right here. 
is 516-785-1049. Is it a Russian number or? Yes. Okay. It's long distance. Mm -hmm. Okay. You must know in McDonald's, um, you will, if you feel comfortable, uh, you will must have to wear the mask all the time, same gloves. <laughs> yeah, that's no problem. I wear gloves sometimes uh, when I take care of uh, Mr. Wellington's uh -huh. problems. <laughs> so I'm used, to, I'm used to that. It could be okay, like cooking food and take orders and registers. It shouldn't be a problem. Mm -hmm. Just how does the other cooks? Do they have attitude? Because that's attitude? Yes. No, people is kind of nice here. Because, you know, if they have problems, then I have to beat the shit out of them. Yeah, we don't sure. do that here. <laughs> we won't get in trouble. We we'll just ask them to leave. You just ask them to leave? Yeah. I can make them leave for you. Too. Okay. Yeah. You can ask them to leave. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So, some people need to leave. Oh, yeah. So, I'm talking about the cooks, though. Yeah, the cooks. So if they disrespect me, you will make them leave? Yes, of okay. course. Oh, yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah. Oh, we, we respect everybody. If they not respect anybody, we ask them to leave. Okay. We have that issues before, so. Okay, so you, uh, what about weekends? I know you work with uh, Mr. Willington. You available on weekends or not? Yes, if your son is asleep, I can sneak out. He's sleeping the day too? Yeah. He's a party boy? Oh, yeah. Oh, Lord. Yeah. They like to go party downtown? Oh, yeah, 6 Street. I have to take him there too. But he's 28. Because <laughs> I am, I mean, like his bodyguard, you know? They have problems with the cartel, so I always have to watch. You have to watch? Yes. Got you. Oh, my goodness. And it's fine if I have a criminal history? Uh. <laughs> sexual like a shower abuser or oh no 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 i would never abuse the children okay. i spent seven years in prison in russia so okay and uh, federal but not here not here yes okay um okay that's why i actually came out here okay. you know After to get away yeah like i said when i worked fast food there as the, the boss we got a little problem uh -huh. and uh, i uh, i killed him and then um, I didn't know that there's cameras around, so... <laughs> <laughs> Next time look for cameras! I know, I know. Yeah, I learned my lesson. You so, so stupid, I know. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, you gotta be smarter than that. I know, yeah. That's what the tattoos mean, you know, the oh, tip Oh, I broke. didn't know that. Yeah, it means... Uh, I, I love the, the tattoo Yeah, because I killed him and his wife, so there's oh, two tip drops. Oh, there's Yeah. I did not know that. My son has tattoos all over. Oh, he killed people too? Mm -mm. Oh. Now that I know of. <laughs> <laughs> you know the kids. You never kids. know. Yeah. You never know with yeah. kids. They're troublemakers. But okay, well, I'll call the store manager and talk to them, see if we can make it work with the schedule. You think I have a good chance of getting the job? Of course. We're yeah. going to take a look in the schedule. I just got to make them understand uh, your schedule. You know, I, I sometimes I work on my own time, but I get the job done. I can tell you that. If you want to talk to Mr. Wellington, he can be a good reference. Okay, I will, I will definitely call him. This is you his number. To, I can I call him right now. Oh no, that's fine, I call him. Oh. Hi. Hello? Mr. Wellington. Yeah, Vlad, where are you? I'm doing interview, job interview right now at uh, McDonald's. I said you can be a reference. What the fuck are you doing at McDonald's, you asshole? For what? Just uh, on the side. What, are you gonna fucking pick up women at McDonald's, you piece of shit? I don't, I pay you yeah. enough money. Can you talk to him? <laughs> Hello, this is Ed Ayanza from McDonald's. How are you, sir? I don't understand. What is he doing over there? I paid this guy a lot of money. Oh, I, we're just doing a, a job interview. He's just applying and we're just looking for a reference. Listen, I pay this motherfucker a ton of fucking money and I'm pissed now. He's coming to you for a fucking job when he's trying to pick up women over there? Oh, uh, I don't know, Sarah. We're just doing an interview. But um, here, you can talk to him. Give me no, one second. I'm pissed off. I'm going to put my shoes on right now and beat his fucking ass. <laughs> No, don't do that, please. He's a nice guy. Here, I'll put him no, in the phone. I paid this motherfucker enough money. Yeah, be nice. He's a nice guy. Give me one second. You take it out of the uh, speaker. I don't know why he's so mad. Oh, no, that's yeah. fine. Maybe you should talk to him and then yeah. call. Yeah, and I'll call you tomorrow. For sure? Yeah, yeah. You promise? Course. I promise I will talk to him and see make sure he's okay and uh, we figure it out the way because like I said you have to give me like some kind of schedule. How you say your name? Vladimir. Vladimir. And your last <laughs> name? <laughs> Vyacheslenov. Oh my god you have to help me with that. What is it? Vyacheslenov. Vyacheslenov. Hey, I'm just fucking with you. We're just filming a funny video. Oh, Are you too <laughs> Why are you filming a funny video? Well, that's my real job. Oh, <laughs> what channel is? Just look up Russian Gangster on YouTube. Russian Gangster? Yeah, and you'll see it. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> be a nice to people. I will. <laughs>
Don't kill nobody. Uh, I'll try. <laughs> I think we finally found someone who is even more gangsters than Vladimir. Very insane, and he probably would have got the job. Maybe we should offer that woman a job working for Mr. Wellington. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like it, subscribe, and follow me on Patreon for only $1 a month. At 10,000 followers, I will fight a pedophile. See you next time. Goodbye. Oh, you want to put the case down for me?